Hey, hello to all. Uh, welcome to Global Offensive Hacker Associate Community. In this section, we are going to discuss about SCADA hacking. Uh, we talk about hacking industrial control system. So this particular domain right now is, is, is booming. It's really booming, right? And even uh, from 2012, okay, I was in the same domain and I have done my robotic engineering, computer engineering, and even information technology, like MTech information technology. And you know, uh, I basically I'm observing this particular domain okay very closely from 2009. One is artificial intelligence. Right now, you can see like lot of tools are available okay uh, regarding to the artificial intelligence. Second thing, basically, if I talk about uh, IoT, Internet of Things, cloud security, and uh, we can see now everyone talking about operational technology. So you can see like uh, the technology is moving that way, yet fast, and also uh, maybe. Uh, next section in this next two three year okay most of the people talk on blockchain technology and some people also talking about right now at this moment okay called web 3.0 so you can see like lot of thing okay basically uh, like you know running okay in this cyber security market so the here the question here is how we can handle all this okay like it's very very difficult because maybe if you have expertise okay in application penetration testing okay and you can see this cop right now toward okay ICS and this card and other thing how are you going to match it actually this thing right because there are lots of tons of technologies are there okay in cyber security domain it's very very difficult but it's very very important also like we need to be up to date okay in the cyber security domain so uh, what to talk about here so we talk about iscada iscada hacking okay we call the supervisory control data equation system and what do you mean by the iscada hacking by the way so when we infiltrating the SCADA system that we call SCADA or we can say we want to perform a penetration test on industrial control system. So we recently launched one program okay, called Offensive SCADA Exploitation. You can see on uh, front of okay, my screen. You can go to the hackerassociate.com and you can check it out Offensive SCADA ICS Exploitation. So before uh, jumping okay, to this SCADA hacking, I want to show you okay, like uh, you know uh, the particular things first uh, before going into that particular technical areas and understand what exactly is SCADA and what do you mean by the operational technology, what do you mean by the IoT and what do you mean by the IT. So when you talk about SCADA hacking, right, we need to understand this terminology very well like what is OT, uh, what is IT, uh, second thing is what is ICS, industrial control system, okay and all this. We understand what exactly is an um, operational technology and information technology. So what's the difference between these two? So when you talk about operational technology, uh, basically mean that physical system moves. When you talk about information technology, we call it as an data moves. Okay, that's basically the difference between IT and the OT, the main part. Now, what do you mean by this? What do you mean by this a physical system moves? So you can take an example of your of always I'm always giving this example you can just imagine a coca-cola plant right so there is a bottle again uh, going for a refill you can see the drink is basically prepared again okay the new bottle will come and so on basically it's moving here in the loop right that is basically a, a coca-cola plant so one bottle is moving and another, and another new bottle is coming again preparing filling full fledged and then again going so we need to monitor that physical processes at the network that's very very important okay when you deal with the SCADA penetration testing that is an example of how the physical uh, we can say system moves right and information technology you are well expert on this area so all sort of attack we can perform network attack phishing attack and many things and same attack is also possible okay on SCADA as well so when you talk about SCADA attack surfaces so SCADA attack surfaces are pretty same uh, network attack we can implement, internal attack is there, plus phishing uh, is there, malware we can basically perform, mod bus exploitation and many other basically possible attacks uh, under this particular domain. So for this you can have a look okay my program I have already mentioned each and every attack whatever we can implement on industrial control system. So example it's a like uh, in India you know maybe if you visited power plant so might be you can check it you might be knowing about it okay like what I'm talking about. Uh, everywhere okay you can see oil gas pipeline okay like lot of things like manufacturing unit energy uh, units many many things are there right so that exactly we need to understand how as an attacker how we can perform a penetration test on these areas so there are many many things okay here like cement devices Snyder electric and many other basically you know organization they are working continuously on this particular area 
and exactly we need to understand this domain properly very well if you want to be expert okay in this particular area right so what we are going to cover okay in this card there is very very important thing and again before jumping into this there's one more domain is called iot is called internet of things so these are basically you know connected so i'll not recommend directly you can go to scada i'll recommend first you can go to the iot training first and then you can come here okay scada because you know somehow connected is very very important okay like if you have a knowledge okay on internet of things area so internet thing means what the ability to uh, basically you know uh, connect and which have ability to sense and communicate so it means uh, one thing can connect to other thing and which have ability to sense and communicate that is called iot internet of things for example let's say uh, when you go to uh, the particular car automatically door open when you go to the mall automatically door open when you smoke fire alarm basically you know beep that exactly is called what iot there are many other example okay maybe you have seen already like when you can see the phone don't have any senses but phone know my location phone know like how hold i uh, hold like this particular camera right i hold my phone okay now how close is i am okay with the particular camera so likewise this is example of iot stuff okay the hardware and the software and again the hardware and software is a future by the way so it is very very important to understand about scada hacking So this is a program we recently launched. You can have a look into this open this card ICS exploitation, and here we are going to cover okay this particular you know very important key points like what is this card, uh, what is this card system components and architectural design, functionality and feature of this card system, this card security and vulnerabilities and application and industry using this card systems, and these are the detailed domain. You can have a look into this uh, domain one basically uh, focus on foundational concept. Second domain basically focuses on components and architectural design. Third is basically completely on exploitation and framework like uh, hacker associate exploit chain, scanning, code printing, examining the perimeter, enumeration, mind map, and many many things. Basically, we going to learn here. And then this is very very important guidelines and regulation for cyber security, uh, SCADA or ICS infrastructure network security assessment and network as well as exploitation, enterprise SCADA ICS. So you can open it up. You can see what we are going to cover. offense is sniffing uh, threatening and so on industrial uh, cyber security control as per iec 62443 uh, we are also going to cover okay in this particular area plus spotting and exploiting security gap in ics and scada ics threatening so you can see it's complete detail program and uh, you, you can have a look into this in the proper detail like what model we are going to cover and if you any problem okay you can basically go to right side there is a linkedin you can message me directly there right i'm very happy okay like uh, if you ask this question on this particular area and uh, i love to basically answer this particular your questions by the way so this is all about uh, iskada and uh, i hope you like this particular video and if you need any information you can message me and see you in the next episode thank you for watching the video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe up to this channel thank you